Hello Scorpio, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what you need to know to heal from the person that hurt you when it comes to love. I'll also be asking spirit for messages regarding what this person would like for you to know. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, this would be what you need to know to heal as well as what the person that hurt you would like for you to know. All right, so Scorpio, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. And please excuse my voice, guys. I don't know what's going on with it. All right, so the overall message regarding what you need to know to heal is the golden mirror. Okay, and Taurus got the same message. You guys are dealing or were dealing with a narcissist. Okay, this is someone that was very self-absorbed, someone that only cared about themselves. I also feel as though the relationship was very one-sided. I feel like you guys were putting in more effort than this person was. All right. But um, yeah, they have they also have a tendency to love bomb you. So this person, like whenever they would feel as though they were losing you or something of that nature, they would come around showing you attention, showing you love, and then poof, they're gone again or they're distant. Okay. For some of you, um, I feel as though they would love bomb you in order to get what they wanted from you. We're gonna get more messages regarding what you need to know to heal, but when it comes to the message this person wants you to know. We have, I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Huh. Exactly what a narcissist does, right? So this person has been spying on you. They've been looking you up online to see what you've been up to, to try to see if you've gotten involved with someone else, to try to see if you're happy. So if you have social media, they're watching your social media. If you do not have social media, then they're trying to find out information about you. If they know where you live, they could be riding past your home, okay? But this person is trying to see what you've been up to, okay? To see if you're doing better without them. We're going to get more messages regarding what this person wants you to know. But first, let's dive a little bit deeper into your healing messages. All right, so Scorpio, we have the butterfly. Camera. Heartbroken. Acts, I like you, coffee cup, passion, the chaser, mask, mm, 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 mm. twin flames. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have soulmate. So this is definitely a soulmate. This is someone you had a soul contract with. You guys made an agreement before we got here. OK, so this is someone that was meant to come in your life. A soulmate isn't always meant to say, but it's definitely someone that's meant to come into your life. OK, so when it comes to um, this person that hurt you, Scorpio, Spirit is saying that this connection was brought into your life in order for you to evolve, okay? I feel as though um, this person was brought in in order to prepare you for a new phase of your life. Now, some of, for some of you, there are some childhood issues, some inner childhood issues that need to be healed, okay? For others of you, it could be your person. So take that how it resonates. Regardless, you guys have you guys have really grown, all right? And I feel as though whoever um, your person is that hurt you, they're just not evolving. This person is stuck, okay? They're stuck. I also feel as though um, for some of you, this person is gonna want to meet up with you, okay? They may want to meet up with you. For some of you, they may try to rekindle things. For others of you, they'll want to at least be friends, okay? So at some point, they're going to come back around wanting to meet up with you or at least converse with you. So you may hear from this person. They're going to try to make you think they have evolved, but Spirit is saying they haven't, okay? I do feel as though there are times where you guys reminisce about this person. Um, there's something of yours that they have, Okay, 
and they look at it a lot. So it could be photos. It could be old text messages. They could have um, one of your like personal possessions or something like that. If you know for sure they don't have anything of yours, then with this energy, I feel like it has a lot to do with this spying that they've been doing. All right. But they reminisce about you a lot. And like I said, I feel as though there's times where you guys reminisce about this person. So um, it's okay to reminisce at times, but spirit wants you to make sure that you're learning from the past. Um, remember not just the good things, but the negative things this person did to you as well. And Spirit wants you to make new memories because there's someone new that's going to be coming into your life and the two of you are going to have a lot of equal attraction. The chemistry is going to be very strong. There's going to be um, a lot of, um, like I said, passion and you're going to have a lot of fun together. When you first met this person, I feel as though the two of you would meet up. When you would meet up or you would converse, you would equally enjoy each other. Like there was a lot of fun between the two of you. You weren't just lovers, but you were friends as well. Okay. But see, this person, they broke your heart. Okay. For some of you, they wanted you to chase after them. They wanted you to chase them. You guys were definitely hurt by the breakup. Okay. Okay. Some of you um, went through a very deep grieving sage, a very deep mourning. I do feel as though um, this person reminisces about you and looks at your photos because they feel lost without you. Okay. But spirit wants you to break the pattern here with acts. Okay. Spirit is saying it was meant for you to separate from this person. This is the type, they are the type, um, they're the type that would give you the silent treatment or they would abandon you if you would expose them, okay? With mask being here, this person had a tendency to hide things from you, okay? They pretended to be someone that they weren't. For some of you, they wouldn't show you their true feelings, okay? And I feel as though whenever you would bring up things, when you would bring up things they were doing or when you would catch this person in a lie, they would gaslight you. They would switch it around on you. Or for some of you, they didn't even want to talk about it at all. OK, so if this person was accusing you of things, it's really something that they were doing. OK, it's what they were doing. For some of you, this is definitely your twin flame. OK, which makes sense as to why. Um, it makes sense as to why. The chemistry was so strong between the two of you, okay? But see, with narcissists being here, for some of you, it could be a false twin. It could be a false twin. And I want you guys to research that because you, there's a lot of that going on right now, all right? A false twin, they masquerade or you'll think that they're your real twin and they're not, okay? Okay? For some of you, it is actually your twin, all right? But yeah, I feel like they're going to be coming back around, okay? Or showing you, making you think that they want you, all right? I also, like I said, feel as though you guys are going to be meeting someone new. And that person, they're going to want to date you. There's going to be a lot of fun between the two of you, a lot of flirting, it's going to be a very romantic partner that comes into your life. So that's why it's important for you to ax out this person. Regardless of whether they're your twin flame or not, I do not want you guys to get caught up in this twin flame journey, okay? Because it will literally destroy you and it will take you off of your path. It's a distraction. I, I really feel like, like I was saying in the Taurus video, I feel as though narcissists are sent from the devil. I can't explain it any other way. And um, I feel as though when it comes to like this narcissist, you know, I don't want you guys to get caught up. Um, I don't want you to get caught up in this twin flame journey and this person that you think is your twin flame is a narcissist. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. So make sure that you stay on the right path. Don't forget to focus on your mission. Focus on your path. Don't let anyone, because a real twin, they won't take you off of your path. 
If anything, they'll help you get on path, okay? So keep that in mind. Please keep that in mind. It's so important. All right, so let's see what else this narcissist wants you to know, okay? We know that they've admitted that they're spying on you. They're looking you up online. They're researching you. They may, they may be asking around about you. Give me more spirit in regards to what this person wants Scorpio to know. All right, so... We have lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. So this person told a lot of lies. And I do feel as though you guys were dealing with a compulsive liar. I miss you regardless of how things seem. So this person misses you. No wonder they're looking you up online. Okay? They miss you. Give me more spirit. I feel as though you guys were a good supply for this person, for this narcissist. You've been in my dream. So this person has been dreaming about you. For some of you, they've been daydreaming about you. Being apart has been life-changing for me. And I bet, because like I said, you were a good supply. So I, I can guarantee you that being apart from you, it has been life-changing for them. I feel as though a lot of you are um, empaths. At the bottom of the deck, you have... You are an angel. So this person knows that you are a very good person inside and out. Give me more spirit. What does this person want Scorpio to know? Okay. So we have, I just wasn't ready for you. Wow. So they could have left you alone. You see that? The audacity of this person. I just wasn't ready for you. Lying was just easier for me to t than telling you the truth. I feel as though this person made you think they wanted a committed relationship. They made you think they wanted you just as badly as you wanted them. But you know how it is with a narcissist. They just needed your supply. Okay? They needed you for your supply or what you could supply them with. Ugh, this person made me sick. Whew. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. So this person has been receiving signs that remind them of you. I feel like they may hear songs that remind them of you or um, there's something that's coming, to, that's coming to them and it reminds them of you. And at this point, they can't ignore it. For some of you, ever since this person did you dirty, um, they've been receiving karma. And at this point, they can't even even ignore it. I feel as though at first they tried to, they thought that um, it was just a coincidence, but at this point it's blatant. Like they can't ignore it. All right. Give me one more card spirit in regards to what this person wants to be able to know. What is this person? Thank you. Your words linger in my mind. So there's something that you said to this person and they think about it a lot at the bottom of the deck. Maybe we're just too different. And you guys are because you're not narcissists. You guys are too different. I feel like when you first met this person, the person that they are now, like, that's not who you met. It's who you met. But but at the same time, you didn't meet that part of, of them or that side of them. You met their representative, period. That's who you met, their representative, and they came off like they were good for you. When in reality, that wasn't them at all. They were wearing a mask. So when it comes to this person, Scorpio, it's very important for you to continue to move forward, regardless of if this is your twin flame or not. Because if this is your real twin, look at this. Guys, I cannot make this up. I was just flipping through this. And you guys, I told you about this false twin flame thing. Look at what I saw. Where is it? Give me a second. Look at what I saw. Twin flames and mask. And I was telling some of you guys that this may not be your real twin. This is just someone that wants you to chase them for some of you. Now, for others of you, this may be your twin. Okay, but you have to be careful because I feel like twin flames are not supposed to be narcissists. And there's a lot of false twin flame issues going around, okay? So I want you guys to research it seriously because, you know, when you're on your path, you have to think about, like, when you're on your path, sometimes um, 
the the devil sands things to try to get you off path. Okay, especially especially for those of you that are on your spiritual journeys. Okay, so stay focused because this person they're not gonna change. All right, so Scorpio, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe, Scorpio. Until next time, bye.